hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to create this fire trap so as you can see here uh, the character got on set on fire when i go through that fire trap so this is the fire trap let me show you the demonstration again okay again after a while the character dies right and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right so this is the usual third person character template and here I have imported uh, this essential VFX pack uh, Niagara particle system. It is from this asset. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, and this is this will be this particular effect will be available with the project file. Yeah, actually, this is the effect I'm going to use. So here is a simple preview, and also I'm going to use this fire particle fire niagara fire simulation that is from this uh, asset pack this particular niagara system also will be available with the project file and here is the preview of that system okay i'm going to use these two systems uh, to implement our fire trap so uh, let me preview this fire trail effect quickly uh, if I add some animation let's say running animation of this third person and if I add uh, Niagara particle system and assign NS fire trail it oh wait I had to make this it will be like this in the runtime when the character is on fire also i have this material this material as well which can be used in combined to create the system right so let's see how to make this all dynamically when we step into a trap okay so first uh, let's create a folder pp for blueprints and here let's create an actor i'll call it pp trigger now let's call it trap now let's just call it fire trap okay and let's add the collider a sphere yeah okay and i'll set this to overlap with all dynamics uh, right so at the moment we only have the player character so uh, therefore it is not a problem will not be a problem uh, right so here now in another character overlap with this sphere so I'll anyway I'll make this to overlap only with pawns and generate overlap points to true set it to true okay now let me just add a print just to check if this event is working also we need something to identify this trap so let's add uh, cylinder uh, visual command maybe uh, this sphere but it 
to be very small right now let me place it here and if go over there yeah third person character character is detected right now I'll add the Niagara system particle system and I'm going to use this fire right so yeah I'll create a custom event because just in case if I create uh, child characters child traps by extending uh, this blueprint this will be useful so on trigger I'll call now here on trigger and also I'll add a parameter in the type of factor triggered by and I'll connect other actor as the character who triggered this trap so yeah this should be triggered only once so I'll add a do once known here to make sure this is not executed twice and then yeah so I'll set this Niagara effect uh, to not to auto activate only when the trigger is activated only when the when this trap is triggered I'll set activate no I'll activate the particle system and also let's play sound at location as the location I can use get that the location and as the sound I have imported this This does not have attenuation set in a sign, so, but it's okay for now. I'll play this sound effect and add the delay, let's say 4 seconds, and then again deactivate the Niagara system because I don't need this fire to be there forever and after that set lifespan of this trap to let's say to be destroyed in another six seconds All right now shall we check okay the trap activated and destroyed yeah destroyed okay now the next part is how to make this character burn so for that let's set up let me open this character blueprint um, and and in this third person character we need to set up a function to set the character on fire so how can we do it yeah let's uh, add a blueprint interface let's call it ppi damage set on file and compile right now let's add this interface to the third person blueprint go to class settings and here you will have add interfaces ppi damageable and compile now you will get set on fire event so here I will get reference to the mesh and spawn now here spawn system attached and as the attached component I'm going to use the mesh and as the location 
I'll do snap to target. Yeah. Okay. And as the template, let's use NS fire trail. Right. Now we have a reference to this triggered by. So let's uh, use it here. Set on fire. Right now, let's see. Now, this character is on fire. Okay, uh, let's change the material as well. Set material. So here in the element index 0 as the material M M I lava right let's check maybe it's better to have some delay to set the material Like 0.5 seconds. Actually, we could implement a material with the smooth ending. Okay, now the character is on fire. So, I'm not going to uh, go into the details of how to implement this material or how to implement this. Uh, fire effects or any of the Niagara effects because we don't have much time for that so maybe in a different uh, tutorial I will cover that if you guys think that would be useful there, just let me know in the comments right and I think it would be cool if the character just uh, die after some time so when the character is set on fire let's have a delay like 10 seconds and set simulate physics so this will enable the ragdoll mode and also I'll character should not move anymore set movement mode to none let's see right the character died but I think it moved across the ground let's change the collision reset to ragdoll that should fix that issue and just to make it test quickly I'll reduce the and yeah it would be better if this fire trail also yellow okay yeah but that's okay for now and i wish to stop this episode right here so the project files will be available for the download through the patron page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club so thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye